giving me a little too much credit for, for uh, influencing that decision, but I was very strongly supportive of their efforts to maintain the... What happened was, it was clear that St. Mike's was needed new facilities on the ground. And it was uh, most economic to build a new hospital in the same vicinity. And we had a great plan with all modern new hospital uh, techniques, uh, emphasis on outpatient activity rather than inpatient and so on. And we got that all organized and ready to go and the government decided to uh, um, send in a study group to see what was the best thing. And they came up with the idea that we should move out to the outlying districts in Scarborough where the population was growing faster. And we felt we had a major commitment to the downtown core underprivileged, poor and wayward that have always been a, a major part of St. Mark's Hospital's activity. Uh, in any event, we built a new hospital on the site instead of off the site, bit by bit. And it's now gone up to 16 floors now recognized as one of the top hospitals in the country. My brother and I were without a mother from the time I was four. And uh, the Brazilian fathers were very solicitous for our welfare. Uh, my father raised us on his own for the rest of his life. And uh, he appreciated the two for one arrangement they made at the school. It was uh, considered a great honor and a great privilege to be at St. Mike's when I was a little fellow. And if you can believe it, I was one of the uh, smallest in the class in grade nine. Wore short pants to school, much to my horror. Everybody was a hero to me in those days. Father Flanagan, Father Sheedy, Father Norbert Ruth, uh, Father Vahe, they were all great. Father Jack Miller, who subsequently went, was a chaplain in the U.S. Air Force, was uh, a coach of my six-man football team, and he, uh, he trained me to be quite effective as a lineman. I guess I was looking for heroes in those days. And there they were all there. I had many role models at St. Mike's. They there was no no negative role models. They were all positive. Uh, some of the priests had little idiosyncrasies that made us laugh, but uh, we nonetheless adored them. I 
thinking of Father Deemer now, who was the kindest person I've ever met. He wasn't as strict a disciplinarian as he might have been, but uh, he was a very dedicated teacher. Teaching of medical students, I try and make them uh, as comfortable as possible. I suppose uh, I've been re relatively effective in that as I've been awarded student uh, awards uh, on many occasions. You might not think that from the way I'm talking now, but It's hard to uh, talk about yourself in a flattering way. I guess humility is a virtue that I have uh, tried to have. So it's, it's hard to brag when you've been taught to be humble. My involvement with St. Michael's really began in the uh, early 70s, uh, late 70s, when uh, my nephews uh, started coming to St. Michael's. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of my nephews, Frank Jr., who is now, by the way, also one of my partners in the insurance business, uh, he started coming and um, uh, we only got excellent feedback from him. You know, he was on the track team, but he was an excellent student. Uh, and um, it was always St. Michael's, St. Michael's, St. Michael's. Uh, you know, whenever school was, and in our families, which is a very large family, the, um, whenever we discussed at supper table, it's always a discussion of what have you done today at school? Uh, what kind of marks are you getting? You know, what's wrong with the getting 90 instead of 80? Uh, and it seemed that uh, St. Michael's was the, 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 the venue for this to happen. Of course, uh, then I, I, I was married in 1973, so uh, by the time we had uh, children and the first two were boys, uh, it almost became a give me that uh, eventually when they were going to go to high school, it was going to be St. Michael's, and uh, that's where it really all began. Why did I uh, get involved? Yes, uh, it, the school provided for my family, and, and then in particular for me uh, with my boys, it provided uh, something that we all look for in our families, in our, in our children, what they do, what they become, uh, values that uh, we try and instill them at home. But, you know, uh, the home is obviously the focal point, but once uh, your children get a little bit older and once they're of uh, school age, whether it be elementary or high school, you need the, the second venue. I mean, you know, I, I look at uh, St. Michael's as an extension of my house. And uh, my boys in the morning, they would, if they would be coming to St. Michael's, they know that uh, whatever they did, would be, they would be accountable. Not only uh, because it would be as if they were at home. And uh, once they got back to the house uh, at night from uh, St. Mike's, it was um, grill time. Uh, you know, it, what did you do today? Uh, what are your marks like? Uh, uh, what happened today at school. To me that was very, very important and uh, St. Michael's obviously provided the, uh, the avenue 
for them to grow up to be responsible uh, citizens. And uh, uh, as I said before, um, uh, my son Robert is just graduating from the Shulik Business School. And I can tell you that uh, his um, success at the Shulik Business School had a very, very um, a basic foundation. Uh, and it was all because of St. Michael's. And that's what really prompted me to to keep on going and uh, donate some of my time, uh, some of the, my uh, resources that uh, I can muster to uh, put together and bring to the table it, when the school needed it. And as soon as the, uh, the uh, uh, building fund started and we were at the beginning stages of the building fund uh, is when my two boys uh, came to St. Michael's. Uh, I, I had no qualms about joining and uh, doing things for the building fund, which uh, we, uh, we're, we're really proud of. Uh, uh, it got to the point where uh, with the Parents Guild, of which I was the uh, secretary or the treasurer for the good part of uh, seven years, I, rally, I got everybody to rally behind me, uh, not only in the Parents Guild, but we went out and we solicited the, the, uh, every parent who sent their children to St. Mike's to get behind the school, to get behind the building fund, so that uh, you know, you'd know you have uh, and build and uh, renovate a school that uh, has an abundance number of, history, of uh, years of history. And uh, yeah, we, I was always, and I repeated it all the time, St. Michael's is probably one of the, if not the best, high schools in North America. And that's really the, the, the crux of it. The St. Michael's experience, I think everybody should go through it. I mean, you know, it's uh, everywhere you go and everywhere you, if anyone you talk to, uh, the moment you say St. Michael's, and uh, in particular St. Michael's College School, I mean, the whole room lights up and uh, all of a sudden, oh, did you go to St. Mike's? Well, no, I didn't, but uh, however, I, I, I might as well have gone to St. Mike's because uh, that's, how, that's how much uh, St. Michael's is in my heart.